Hi everybody, it is Danny, your scrapper on the street. And the other day I posted an on location video. I'll have the link uh, above this video here at scrapperonthestreet.com. And I was at downtown Disney kind of taking a walk down memory lane, if you will. And I spent a lot of time there growing up and I wanted to talk about it a little bit more and get some of that story down onto a page. Uh, downtown Disney is going to be going through a lot of changes over the coming years and what it was when I was 11 and 12 and what it is now is not what it's going to be. It's worlds away from each other. So I really wanted to capture the right now because it's a really special place for me. So I created this layout. I took this picture with my cell phone and I just sharpened it a little bit and sharpened the colors just a little bit in PicMonkey. It's a free free website. You could also get a paid subscription, but there's a lot you can do with it for free and it's really great to just just sharpen a little bit the colors, especially when you're using those cell phone photos. They could be a little grainy and I really like how it turned out. I kept it simple because I knew I wanted a lot of journaling and I wanted it to tell the story of growing up there and times with my family and how many movies I've seen there and times with friends meeting up there and times I've spent there by myself. So I really had a lot to say about this place. So I kept a lot of room for the journaling and it's why I chose a lined patterned paper as I knew I had a lot to say so it made it that much easier I didn't have to worry about penciling in lines or you know measuring out where my journaling would go I was just able to write and tell my story I did a lot of spritzing and splattering with color shine and I did a little bit of layering with six by six a sheet of six by six paper and if you didn't take Lane Amon's Scrap and R about the 6x6 paper, there's a lot of great ideas in there. So, and I will link to that below as well. And I just clustered some embellishments, kept my title simple, and just had a lot of fun with it. I really wanted the focus to be on the photo and the story, and I think I managed that. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. You can always find me here on ScrapAroundTheStreet.com and be sure to join our mailing list as there will be tons of fun and excitement coming your way very soon. See you next time.